Welcome to the Scottish Property Podcast. This is a show where we aim to educate, inspire and entertain through real life stories and interviews from people in the Scottish property community. As always, thanks for listening and give us a follow on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Remember to join us at our monthly networking events on the first Wednesday of every month. Tickets are available on our website. So without further ado, we'll just cut straight into this week's podcast. So welcome to the Scottish Property Podcast. Timur, I'm not even going to try and pronounce your surname, but you will tell us what your surname is. My surname is Hismatulin. Hismatulin. Hismatulin, yeah. Okay. Timur is fine, so that's much easier for everyone. And you're Russian, right? Yes. Well, it's not the Russian last name. It's more of a Turkish background. So my, my dad is Bashkir, which is like Tatarstan, Kazakhstan, those areas. Okay. So that's why. But my mom is actually German. So ah. when I'm in Europe, people saying, oh, you're Spanish or Italian. I'm like, no. <laughs> you're about a mixed bag then. Yes. Right. So tell me a little bit. I'm always fascinated, yeah. like how you ended up in Glasgow, and give me a little bit about your your background and uh, where you grew up. How you end up yeah. emigrating to Scotland? So uh, I grew up in the Ufa as a city in the middle of Russia. So it's Ural Mountains, really close to to them, but still European part. So it's, it's cold. It's two hours flight <laughs> from Moscow. At the moment, it's minus twenty. I think there. Wow. <laughs> so it's it's. Proper winter, proper summer. Yeah. Uh, my my parents are both engineers, so I also got in that uh, the same university. Started my uh, scientific career as well, so I, I got the PhD. Uh, but more with the idea, actually, I've seen that people can travel quite easily between the world, so the Japan, uh, Germany. Uh, I got to Germany. Back in 2006-2007, when I got the news that oh, I'm going to Germany for a year, I'm like, mm. what did you go to Germany for? It's a scholarship. So, oh, right. Okay, so you were a yeah. student at the time. No, not a student. I've just finished my university, and ah, that's right. the postgraduate study. And they just basically inviting uh, scientific people to work on there. Okay. And uh, what age are you, by the way? No, forty-two. Right, so see when you were growing up in Russia, that yeah. was obviously that was pre like that was obviously the Soviet Union, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before well, it all, I, 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 before I it broke and, up, and yes. So do you have what were the memories of that growing up? I mean, well, like uh, that's another story actually. Uh, if if you've seen the movie recently released, uh, which calls Tetris. No, Tetris. I've not seen it. Well, but you know, I'm, you know the game. I'm fascinated yeah, yeah. by Russia yes, and, and its, it's and history at the moment. Uh, that, that's the, actually about my young age. I mean, it's n- end of 1980s. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the, the movie, it was shot here in Scotland. Mm? Aberdeen, uh, Glasgow, Prestwick. And my son was playing the role of the oldest son of the... Oh, your son inventor. was in the movie? Yes. Brilliant. Yes. <laughs> What was what was the movie about? Uh, Tetris. You know this game? The Tetris. Game, yeah. Tetris. Tetris. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So and Game Boy. And the old Game Boy game. Uh, yeah. And the movie is about how this was invented and how the different companies were trying to get the license to uh, release this game, right. to, to sell this game. And USSR never was selling software. So that was like a first off. So and Tetris it, came from the USSR? Yes. That, I yes. don't know that. Right, <laughs> okay. And yeah, the movie is it's based on the real story. Obviously, it's not everything. We need to check that out. Timur's son <laughs> in the movie. Yeah, yeah. You've got a movie star. You, you, you will see that my complicated last name again. And <laughs> so was, was he, is he speaking Russian in the movie? Yeah, of course, yes. So he he was born in That's Russia. Cool. And yeah, uh, we came here when he was one and a half years old. How long have you been in, in Scotland now? Since 2010. Right, okay. Since 13, 14 years, yeah. So what, what was the decision for the move to so, Scotland? Uh, yeah, that's the... But background is uh, scientific. My wife says she's also from the same university, but younger than me, and she's more career driven. So she's now working as a between university, Scottish government, and wind farm industry. Right. So th- th- that kind of stuff. Uh, I have the same background, so material science, metallurgy, and she was always looking like I want to live abroad, and she got the position here at Strathclyde University. I just follow with my son. So mm. my first year, I was unemployed in Glasgow, walking every day, <laughs> reading the books about like early education of kids, etc. And that was a good experience. Like you're realizing, mm, probably you don't need 
to be working all the time. You just need to do what you are enjoying to, <laughs> to do. Mm-hmm. So it's easy, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, then obviously I just uh, got to the same position just because my skills was good enough to join. My English improved. My first foreign language was German. Yeah. So, and yeah, I've got to the same place. It's a research center. And up until the last year, I've been there as employee. <laughs> and you're still an employee now, right? No? No. I you've, just left uh, in the Congratulations. You've nice. escaped. You've escaped the, the rat race, yes. as they call it. <laughs> rat race, yeah. Did you, did you enjoy your job, though? Or were you glad? Yes. So that's what I started investing in 2016. Right. Uh, I've gone through the courses. Mm-hmm. Uh, Darren Gillian Green. Um, mm. who, who else? The... Jim Green, yeah. Okay, yes, obviously ga, 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 uh, Jasper, you. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's yeah, yeah, from yeah. the same courses. Barry Nelson from the same courses. Yeah. So, t- to be honest, I'm really grateful. It is expensive, yes. Mm-hmm. You did, so just so listeners yeah, are yeah. understanding, you did an education course. Yeah, which back in 2016. Which, mm-hmm. you, I've got one buy to let property before. Yeah. which I bought just following the course from Groupon, which cost like £30, something like that. That was, one of, Ste- that was one of Stephen's courses. <laughs> is £30. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I need to get you for that last right. On the Groupon, I, seriously? No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> it, it, it's just a text course, so yeah. how, how to buy, buy to let. What's the yeah. legislation at that time, 2016, yeah. Mm-hmm. And no, even earlier, t- 2014. And I just step by step borrowed money against my uh, house mortgage, mm-hmm. put half of that onto solar panels and half of that onto deposit for the flat, uh, small flat in, in Renfrew, uh, rented out myself to young girl without guarantors, etc. <laughs> Get absolutely mess in there and uh, flip it in 2020. <laughs> so that, that's my- You had a mess? Yes. What kind of mess? Just rubbish. We right? like to hear about yeah. them. We like to hear <laughs> sure about this because it's not I, all from without if, education. If you, yeah. if you go to my Facebook, you probably will find that uh, picture. It's like a lot of rubbish in the room and the uh, how how it was Arfa. So the, the 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 music instrument. So she was a, a musician, right? And people were saying, "Wow, well, that's awful, etc." But can you please leave that instrument for us? So when guys were removing everything, they left just this. Uh, Harp, harm, yes. Harp, this one, yeah. Yeah. Harp, oh, yeah. harp. harp. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. I'm still so learning the, my English. No, that, <laughs> so did she let? Did she leave you with a lot of arrears or as uh, well? No, it's she only left one, one or two months only. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but uh, it was. Was that because she self managed then? Then put an agency and just you know didn't it, understand it the process. It was even without the agency, but my my agent she actually helped me just to get her out right. and take the keys back. And, and yeah. did you sell the harp or did you keep the harp? I I. Pass it to the person who is from the music background. So she right, yeah. donated it. Right, good man. <laughs> yes. I've been straight on eBay with that harp. <laughs> get, your, your get, some the, get your arrears back. Get some of the costs. <laughs> yes. But uh, so when I come to the courses, I was like, I'm already a landlord. I have a flat. Yeah. But I'm like, wow, this like lease option, uh, assistant yeah. sale stuff. Which none of it money works. Money in, money out. I was like, <laughs> wow. I'm going to do that actually. Are you? <laughs> yes. Yeah. The lease options? Uh, yeah. Right, okay. That's that's why I'm, that at goes. the moment I'm have a, a coach who is really good at that, so he's doing it all day mm-hmm. long in England, and he already did similar stuff. When when you're working with the uh, landlord, mm-hmm. it's slightly different situation, so they are more prone to work with you, and in this case you can set up. It's basically an agreement between two people. So lease option is where just for the listeners again, because right. mm-hmm. many of our listeners are uh-huh. are beginners and stuff like that. So just to explain quickly that strategy. Basically, you are taking control of the property without purchasing it yeah. with the option to buy at some stage in the future for the price which you're fixing now in the contract. Okay. So mm-hmm. you're basically banking on the capital growth. Yeah. Again, probably not for Scotland. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the issues that we've had with other people that have tried this and part of our community are they try to get a solicitor to facilitate yeah. it. And with legal different legal issues. systems, yeah. Yes, the... the Solicitor doesn't li- like the idea that uh, you have the option not to buy. So that's why they insist it has to be delayed completion, etc. But basically, it's, it's just a, it's a contract, yeah. contract yeah. between yeah. two people. Yeah. And if mm. both parties are happy with what's in the contract, it's not about purchase yet. 
mm-hmm. just about management of the property. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a great strategy if you can get it to work. It's just that I, I think uh, you, you, I haven't tried it myself, but a lot of people I speak to just say that they face a lot of barriers from uh, uh, lawyers I, and solicitors. I did, I did assisted sale uh, just when the lockdown started. And right. it was against the relating agent. She introduced me to the guy who was going to sell in Erskine. And so he was uh, happy for me to take care of all the refurbishment. And he was happy for the money which I proposed with that mm-hmm. uh, idea in mind. So I didn't bought it, but I did full refurbishment, staging, uh, include a letting, uh, estate agent who sold that. And once it sold, we had an agreement mm-hmm. where he is getting this uh, money which I promised set, at the beginning. Yes, I mean, set yes. a price that you agreed at the start. And the rest I got to me just to cover my expenses for the refurbishment and the profit. What's, and the, what's the difference between a lease option and assisted sale? It's basically also lease option. So you are yeah. promising to pay him money, but not right now, but in the future. Yeah. In this case, it's a short future because it's just a refurbishment. Yeah. And sell. And, uh, mm. Sell, yeah. Do you teach that in your course? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 So. <laughs> I like it. It's a good strategy because you're, you're not getting, yes. well, you're not so getting nailed with the you're ADS. You're not paying uh, LBTT. Yeah. You're yeah. not raising a lot of funds. Mm. You're not paying interest on that funds. Uh, legal is a bit easier. Well, not easier, mm-hmm. but yeah. So you, you just... Yeah, the trust, the yeah. guy, What's your strategy to try and get these deals in? To get those assisted I, sales? I, and, n- now I'm just directly saying to estate agent, guys, if that, that's the idea, so I, I'm saving money here and here. And because I'm saving it, I can put it towards the offer. So my offer will be more. More than you. If okay. you uh, receive the mm-hmm. vendor that... It is working. And what sort of feedback are you getting from agents? Is that a tough sell? Is it is that a difficult no, I, one? I, I never got it through the estate agents. They kind of understanding what yeah. I'm talking to, but for them, they obviously need a sale and they are yeah. uh, because the, the standards response from estate agents. Black is, and well, white. we need to try and get our client the best possible price. That's our yep. job. So, I, I I've got the similar actually situation when the estate agent told me we have an offer of the home report. But this is the assisted sale. So that's why they're still marketing and trying just to sell it quicker. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, you, so you had, obviously, you, you rented out that one in rent through. And then yes. How did that, that was like 2016 or 2014. something? 2014. Like oh, 2014. Yes. You did your education course that you spent and then since, 20 grand yes, on. Yes, yes. Since the education course. How much was did like you spend on it? 20. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Right, okay. <laughs> it was a thousand. It's, it's actually, you're going for the basic, uh, three-day basic course which you're pumped in with the old information. It's not so detailed, but Mm -hmm. uh, it's good enough so Mm -hmm. you understand how it all works. And because I already have this background, so I know how to buy, I know how to make the rent and what's what's including in there, it was much easier for me. So out from this course, first of all, I changed my mortgage, my residential mortgage from nine years to 25 years <laughs> like mm-hmm. you don't want to pay mortgage in this country because it's assets growing so you don't need to pay off all that all of that and secondly i just start looking for the deals and my first deal was on the market offers over 55 home report 60 another flat and rent through uh and what's the strategy what's your strategy moving forward with this wait wait i just uh, mm-hmm. finished that this point, one. yes so mm-hmm. uh, at that point just mm-hmm. buy it with the correct numbers. So I offered 40, they accepted it. They realized I, I cannot get the mortgage with the 40 purchase price. I drop it even further. I said like 30, 33 and a half, I bought it. Mm-hmm. Home report 60. I've done the refurbishment and I've got the valuation by the refinance. So I've got it on a bridge and the, the valuer came in. He was waiting for me like 15 minutes in a, quite a bad close. I mean, it's like broken window, etc. And I got the, my first valuation back, which was zero, due to <laughs> inadequate. That was a good start, wasn't <laughs> yes, it? Inadequate did you want management 20, of the did you go to the course to say you want your twenty grand back. <laughs> well, well. There, there was there was plenty of people actually who uh, said like, yeah, that happens. Yeah, so all yeah. you need to do uh, Peel, take yeah. care of the the close thing. The windows, yeah. What I did, I spent an additional two k. And the guy come back and uh, valued at 55. 
Yeah. Guy came back with a stab proof vest. <laughs> <laughs> so money back out the money, all money back out the uh, deal almost, yeah. Not really. Mm -hmm. So but yeah, kind of. But yeah. that that was the So then you're like that. that right, light bulb moment, this is the strategy. So then did you just try to keep doing that for a few? Yes. So I I've started buying like three, four per year, roughly. Yeah. And doing the renovations and try to yes, increase yes, the value, yeah. the so buy, that, renovate, that refinance. Exactly. That's how I got probably up to 2019, 2020, just buying how, them, how many, yeah. sometimes. How many did you, have you got? By, by 2020, I've got like 15 Excellent. units. And then uh, through, through the lockdown, I go to the portfolio of 18 which I acquired in two chunks. You bought a portfolio as well? Yes. Awesome. Yes, uh, it was 18 units. I bought nine in 2021 and the second half I sourced two and got another seven on my name, well, company name in Probably. 2022, so in just in two chunks. Now we're talking right. portfolios. This is the buzz. This is the buzz world. It is. Yeah. Uh, to the, be honest, it was moment. my second portfolio. First one, just three units. I sourced two and took one to myself and I was like, hmm. That's much easier. So yeah. you're negotiating. Uh, How did scale. that portfolio come about? The the first one was through solicitor. So he said like, oh, there is a small portfolio in Paisley if you're interested. I'm like, yeah, let's have a look. Nice. Um, made an offer, negotiate a little bit down and just uh, strip it. So one investor, another investor and one for myself. How did you manage to fund that deal then? Because <laughs> obviously that's... The, through the courses, actually, they are quite good on the, there is a special course which calls Creative Finance. Right. And the, the, the main takeaway from that course, there is plenty of money and people happy to share if they trust you. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm still having quite a lot of uh, individual loans. So to myself. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm quite happy to keep them because portfolio keep paying the Generous interest. Interest, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Are these from your Russian oligarch mm. friends? Uh, then? Not, not really. <laughs> I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> Russian <laughs> oligarch. <laughs> Another story. By, by 2012, <laughs> we just moved to our house, so we, we bought a house, and uh, one lady, a colleague at work, she said like it was an election in Russia as well, and I said, oh, one of the oligarchs is trying to get to the president's uh, post as well. And she says, oh, yeah, Russian oligarchs, they, they are uh, quite a lot in London. Uh, they are buying properties in, in the UK, like you. <laughs> <laughs> so she thought you were one of the oligarchs. <laughs> yeah. After well, that, I, I thought, like, well, I need to change my Honda Accord to something more, more, more big. I know there's a, there's a lot of stereotypes about Russians, yes, yes. and uh, you've probably had them all. It's, Actually, in London, there's plenty of Russians. You can walk on the street and hear yeah. it. it's much more. It's much less in Scotland. So we get here because of... Uh, but they're all going to Dubai Russia. now. You were saying Dubai. There's quite a lot of Dubai, Russians yeah. are, are once, settling once there. Once the, uh, that war started, so there was a lot of people... Displaced mm -hmm. yes, and yes. assets frozen and all that. There was a problem there, wasn't yeah. there? Because like people were coming to me like, you're not scared. Like you, You're Russian and your, your assets can be frozen. I'm like, uh, wait a minute. I, I'm I'm not the Abramovich with like millions of funds in, in the banks. Mm -hmm. No, I'm, I'm. Have you got Have you got citizenship now? Yes, have yes. You got, yeah. Since yeah. 2017, yeah, British passport. So we have two passports, uh, Russian and mm. UK, and yeah, that that's that was one of the goals as well, actually, to uh, because we when we stayed in Germany mm. to become the fully German citizen, you need to give up Russian uh, citizenship, and UK it's mm. allowing both of both them. Ma. That's yeah, that's a good one. That's so handy. we are traveling much easier now. <laughs> tell, tell us how that you, got the, you they came across the portfolio eighteen units, and that was is that quite a, was that your so, biggest deal to scale the portfolio up? Yeah, yeah. Uh, this deal came. Uh, my friend calls me during the lockdown, and when it was opening up, people was just grabbing flats and houses, mm -hmm. and he called me like, "Oh, what do you think about this flat?" Like, I think it's sold. <laughs> He's calling me back in 10 minutes saying like, you were right, it's sold. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good deal. <laughs> yeah, where to get the, uh, the, the properties? I'm like, ask like, off market, like accountants, uh, solicitors. And a couple of days later, he said like, oh, that's my accountant saying there is a portfolio for sale. And yeah, I'm happy to have a look. First, I've met with the lighting agent. So not, not the vendor. I, th I think they're just testing if I'm actual serious, potential, yeah, yeah. Yeah, serious buyer. They just listen to what I've got and what I'm going to do. 
they said like, okay, yeah, let's have a view. So we view all of them. By that time, because I spent with this late engagement already like two, three days together, he was kind of more of my on my side. Mm-hmm. And when the vendor was saying like, oh, there's a flat, I'm taking it away because the uh, the tenant wants to buy it. He stopped him and said like, wait, you already have the whole portfolio agreed. And now you want to renew it because just you start to picking up some of the flats. And that was a flat actually, Tantalon Road, which they miscalculated the value, to be honest. They valued as like 91. And I know that. So that's a good area. 120, 130. Yeah. yeah, that's a good area. So I, I bought that flat, done nothing. Probably. And in a half year, I've sold it for 130. Lovely. <laughs> nice. So yeah, that, that was one of, I paid quite a lot of tax on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and yeah, so something like a couple of months, I offered my price. Mm. They said, no, we negotiated a little bit up. And by August 2021, we agreed like, okay, let's go ahead half now and half later on. Yeah. So once I've sell some of them just to recoup the money back in. Money back, yeah. So did you, you, buy, you do, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you buy, did you buy the first nine? First nine uh, in yeah. 2021. And did you I've sell any of the sold, those? Uh, this flat, I've sold one more house yes. and I've got one more refinance from previous right. and, and the investor were quite happy to keep the money with me keep the rest of the, the, the yeah properties. so i just got something like 180 together as a deposit mm-hmm. go directly to together money mm-hmm. and they give me 75 percent so is that the was is that all glasgow based properties uh south glasgow east kilbride yes nice yeah, yeah. and uh i was like great 2021 we shake hands and this market, market goes up. go up and up yeah. for the second yeah. half. I didn't manage to get all money back in time by half a year later, let's mm-hmm. say by me. And the vendor said like, I'm okay to wait, but that's 5% increase on the price. Mm-hmm. And I already got a uh, valuation from Land Invest. Right. I look at that I'm like, I can afford it. <laughs> right. Okay, here we go. Uh, I've just put this 5% in one of the houses which I got with the mortgage. Uh, I've, I've got quite a good mortgage broker. She said like, this 5% is something like 30, 30 33,000. Mm-hmm. If you put that in that mortgage, uh, foundation home loans, they uh, originally declined my application because they said, you buying below market value. Mm-hmm. It was 170 value and I was buying 130. Mm-hmm. So we added that 33,000 to that yeah, particular yeah. unit. Yeah. And they, okay, lad, that here is, here we go. Here's your mortgage. Nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, so yes. now what does that mean? So by the time you added all those in, how many units you got now? It was then? something like 30, but I sold some of them because yeah. it was purely flips. And, uh, and see with, see with that cash that you've you've accumulated from the sales. Yep. Have you done anything with that? I, or? I've repaid bridges. I've At the moment I have one on the flat. Yeah. And I've repaid investors, obviously. Aye. And see that you talked about raising the deposit, um, mm-hmm. like 180 grand or something yep, like yep, yep. How did you manage to get that together? Uh, it slowly actually accumulated through investors while, while I was buying uh, normal buy to lets. Okay. And uh, I've got guy from Cyprus, I've got London guys who are right. quite happy just. They, these... they were calling me and saying like, oh, we have a problem. With the, there is a uh, 100,000 and uh, it, it was a 2% and now it's like 0.5%. I, originally I thought she talking about her mortgage, but actually it was about her... Uh, saving so account. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I, I can like solve 100, that problem. 100k, yes, I, I know what to do with that. So I can help yes. you with that. <laughs> so, Have yeah. you ever heard of Glasgow? <laughs> no, well, we, she was already working with me. All right, uh, so she knew. That assisted sale, actually, uh, 20, 23k I put into that refurbishment. Mm-hmm. That was from that investor. And they're just wanting a return, right? They're yeah, not interested yeah. in property so, necessarily. Exactly. They're just looking for a better return. Mm-hmm. Um, and and these people that you're talking about here that will give you the money, are these people that you've known from uh, previously before? Family, friends? Not every, or? Not every time. N- now, sometimes people, well, uh, m- my niche is Russian-speaking people. You, you know, there is like a Russian-speaking I've, I've groups, etc. I've noticed you've been yes, doing some doing. videos. Yes. And they're in Russian, obviously. And there's a reason for that. You're trying exactly. you try to target and, some more investment uh, from... I, I, I'm just honest with people. And uh, if I promise to pay money, I will obviously paying the interest, mm. etc. Uh, if I cannot pay back in time, I'm talking to them and agreeing something, yes. 
And th- there are people just who don't know me and they're approaching like, yes, uh, can I invest with you? Is, it, no is it not quite difficult to get money out of Russia for some... Like, from Russia, uh, at the it, moment we sold our units, well, our f- uh, flats in in Russia, and that's the millions of rubles sitting on the account. You can't I, you can't just transfer that to the UK though, can what, you? What, what I'm doing, I'm doing kind of peer to peer. People needs money in Russia. Right. I'm sending from my account in Russia, and they sending the pounds here. So that's what I'm doing. Now. Right, yeah, yeah. Right. Slowly, just slowly get out, yeah. Yep. It's, or cryptocurrency. That's yeah. that works. That's can be done. <laughs> right. Okay. So so where do you see kind of like what's your plan now? Kind of strategy like moving I, forward. So once I left the job, it's obviously like oh you you've got like secure two something key every month and now like it's dropped. Yeah. Are your wife still of, working? Yeah, she's time? still working, mm. and th- that's good because back for any mortgage we can show. So there here's go, the yeah. mm. person who is constantly getting income. The portfolio itself already good enough, so it's it's showing the income. But just to keep the lifestyle, I need to get Mo- that. More. Yes, yeah. more. We, you, we so moved you, to the bigger house. So basically yeah. last year I ticked all my boxes on like visualization got Tesla. Board, yeah. Yes, I've got my uh, Tesla <laughs> Model X with those doors. <laughs> I've got a big house with five bedrooms. So every kid has a bedroom, etc. Yeah. Uh, so the one we think we need to maintain is the... Keep traveling. Yeah. <laughs> you like your travel days? Yes. So you you know are you still gonna keep adding to the portfolio now or uh probably with those yeah. more creative strategies. Yeah. Uh at the moment I have just one with empty where I've got uh eviction just three weeks ago and it was non paying since last February. Right. I've seen that on your Facebook. Yes. So you did a wee video, uh, you were there with the sheriff officers. You went yeah. through one of these uh, lately. I, I, well, I, wasn't, I wasn't there though, but I, uh, did you do I, I decided that it will be a good yeah. video. So. It was, yeah. I, was, I was like, oh, this is interesting. I've never seen one of these before. Cause mm-hmm. like, I've, we've been letting this now for five, six years. We've never had to get sheriff officers yet. But yes, we might actually be have one on the cards very shortly. That's thanks to lighting agents. So they Mm -hmm. organize all everything. So I mean, uh, the notices, the shift procedure, etc. Yeah, and um, and you just went along with the video camera. Yeah. (laughs) So marketing, you you get some content in here. But I mean, no, it's good to see because like some people just only they only show the good stuff, don't they? Of Mm. property, you know, and the, Mm -hmm. the. you know, like buying the Tesla and all yes, that. Yes, yes. But they don't show the other side of it, which I was, I was thought, this is good. You know, the, not all the, roses. The, the, the thing what is... What happened there? Uh, uh, what happened is a uh, couple, the, the girl was my applicant and I think she was checked and it was kind of okay, but lighting agent told me like, I not good feeling, so I take three months up front just in case. But then it was like, oh, they're paying, but they're not paying, mm. etc. So... And then she left once the notices came and the yeah. Shreve procedure come and the guy stayed because he was also on the on the oh, uh, right. lease. Yeah. 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 And uh, that that guy, so neighbor said like, oh, actually he's quite well known. <laughs> so oh, if yeah. you checked him previously, you probably wouldn't uh, home them yeah. <laughs> in that property. She just got Russian mafia on them, mate. Yeah. She just called up your pals. <laughs> A lot of time people saying like, why are you not? So you're a martial artist. Why are you not come and kick them out? <laughs> like, I want to live in this no, country. What's, what's this? <laughs> That's this topic. I mean, yes. obviously there is. I mean, I don't know the guy's situation, but it's never good when you have to send in sheriff yeah. officers. You know, it's always going to be quite messy. I've I've got another couple of units where I need to move tenants. So, for example, I've got one three bed semi detached. Uh, got with that that portfolio. Uh, semi-detached build 2004 2002 so it's, it's a new build mm-hmm. and uh, th- there was a lady from Ireland she was on the benefits mm-hmm. and the total payment was 650 and the house value 150 in that condition I was like sorry I, I need to move you uh, we served her notice uh, she didn't move I contacted her she said like I cannot find so the Obviously, she's on benefits. It's really tricky to mm. for her to get something on open market. And we end up four or five months later, I've got my flat in Kilmarnock vacated. And I just moved her there. She obviously not really happy, but that that's what just she... Looking for, at yeah. the end of the day, you're not making yes. her homeless. You've got yes. another so option I've, for her. Yeah, I brought yeah. her in there. And so 
help us over yeah, the movement. So, so you're a decent, you're a decent landlord. You're a decent, you know, human of being. Course. Yes, I you, do. you care about people, and we all care about people. Yeah. But this is it. Some people just rip the ass out and take mm. the piss, and this is what this is what happens. Most of our tenants, most of them are absolutely brand new. Uh, but I've got mm-hmm. one guy um, who it's one of my flats that I own. Uh, this has probably been going. Now, I wouldn't have let this happen if it was one of our clients, one of our landlord clients that we manage for. Yep. This wouldn't have dragged on. But because it's one of my own properties, right. I've got a little bit of flexibility, mm-hmm. right? So, you know, I said to the guy, right, okay, you you had a gambling addiction. So he got himself mm-hmm. into arrears. He then clawed himself back out and we set up a payment plan. He's now back in. He's mm-hmm. down about £2,000. I said, look, I'm sorry, I can't like this. This has ha- dragged on now for two years, in and out, in mm-hmm. and out, in and out. Always late, always promises. Oh, I'll clear it mm-hmm. off this month, I'll clear it off this month. And I've got to a point now where I'm sorry, but I just need to be that. And I need to be the, the current landlord now, and I need to evict you. I didn't say that to him, obviously. Yeah. I said, look, I'm sorry, but unfortunately, we can't go on like this. So I'm going to need to go through the tribunal and serve yeah. you notice. Yeah, yeah. Um, Is he moving? Well, probably he... not. <laughs> I'll probably go into it. I, I would yes. imagine the, the kind of type of I'd probably listen to it. If you listen to the podcast, mate, go and just pay your money. Pay your rent. <laughs> pay your money or move the fuck out. I, but you had one as well. But it's yeah. just if you've got you can you can kind of suffer those blows, obviously, if you've got a that's the beauty of having a portfolio. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. it's not yeah, yeah. obviously I'm down. What what's the mortgage in that one? Two hundred and fifty pounds a month or whatever. Do you know what I mean? I can cushion it from on, the rest on that of that house in total I've lost something like seven K just before because of the arrears. And now additional five K just to bring it ah, back. It's costly. To... Mm. It's costly and it's a risk, yes. right? Yes. You don't you don't go into any type of investment a business. Yeah. you were talking about cryptocurrency yeah. Yeah. look at the people that lost the money on the bitcoin you know when it when it plummeted look yep. at people who if lost they call it they are better now mm-hmm. yeah exactly people that lose money in the stock market so be it, the property game is a long term game you have like, always seen that long game. that seven grand is going to come back in your pocket yes. but it's the it's the guys I suppose that start out or they, or they think that one or two properties in a portfolio is sufficient enough. It's really not because you get hit with something like that. It cripples your yes. business, but at least your portfolio is big enough to... I've got a client at the moment, right? And um, he's a good guy. He's a good client. He's got a few properties. Uh, but I, I'm going to have to maybe have a chat with him because he's like, um, he, he's only had the property for three months, I think, oh, right? Yeah. Unfortunately, the tenants moved out already. It's hand in notice. So they were only in two months. And they've complained that they're smelling smoke from the downstairs neighbour and they want to move out. So, and he bought the property and did a bit of work, maybe spent £2,000 doing a bit of redecoration, carpet and etc. Okay. And now the tenant's moved out, so it's going to cost him again to obviously a small void period, mm-hmm. a reletting fee and all the rest of it. And he sent me a message and he's like, I'm not making any money out of this property. I was like, you've only had it for three months. months. You know, what like, you expect to yeah. You know, yeah. you need to, you know, it's not been a good return this. I'm not very, you know, not happy. I'm like, oh, you need to look at it a bit more longer term than that. You know, months, hopefully yeah. over the time. And your know, property prices we've just read out are going up 3% still. Mm. So your right. asset value is still going up. Look at it. <laughs> Give it 10 years. The, 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 the first property which I bought professionally, so with refinance, yes. I've got the tenants changing three times there just because of the bad neighbor in fr- uh, across that flat. Yes. <laughs> Fine. And then lighting agents are like, now we know what the type of pupil this needs to be. <laughs> and they found it. And the guy is there for like last two, three mo- years already. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they're just, the, they're just matching. Of, yeah. What sort of type of people need to be there? <laughs> is it somebody with a criminal record or something that can <laughs> handle themselves? <laughs> Someone tougher, I believe, yeah, just <laughs> who can Somebody stand who can like, handle yeah. themselves. Yes, and, yes, uh, not, exactly. Not a snowflake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but because before it was a girl, then it was a, a black guy in there, and then they found yeah, yeah. a Scottish guy with 16, 17 years old son. Right. And they are absolutely fun, so so they are for years in there. <laughs> so what's right. important to you? You were talking about traveling, you know, you're a family man as well. You know, what is, um, I, obviously you like your luxuries, your Tesla and all that, you're happy, box ticked. What are the boxes left that you've got to tick? That, that, that was a kind of a crisis for, last, for, for me last year, like, Okay, what's next? So I I, le- I left my job. It feels a bit like of a uh, challenge for me as well. So mm-hmm. now I'm my this year goals. I want to take this uh, lease option stuff in Scotland. Thanks God I've got now uh, a lead and we are working on that. I want to change one of my flats for the 
SA unit in Paisley. It was SA flat, uh, but then during the lockdown, I've got the an A service department. Service so, department. Mm, yeah. And he stayed there. So now I've got the long term tenant there. And the flat was around about 40K value. I just sold it with the tenant. It's still in process. And then I just use this money and buy something to bed, house preferably, again in Paisley with the idea. So uh, I have mom in law who is coming to visit us. So that will be her winter accommodation. Yeah. <laughs> You'll uh, listen, I'll provide you a house as long as you look after the kids. <laughs> <laughs> I can go to the gym. <laughs> that, that kind of stuff, yes. Yeah, so <laughs> kids like are it. happy to meet here. So yeah. No, I know, I know. That's yeah. the fam- it's family. And uh, another stuff which I started, I start to support foreigner investors. So now I'm kind of Excellent. combining the team. And how do you expand that, that, that network of foreign investors? I mean, obviously you can do... Again, the help of network. I've, I've, uh, th- th- there is an international investor and sh- she is Russian, but she started from Holland. So she bought properties in Holland and in Germany. And then she came back in Russia in 2012, something like that. She started the education company in Russia. Then she moved that company into Dubai. Now she's living in Mexico. And I, I was on her uh, events, yeah, on her uh, calls. And she's like, oh, you are uh, understanding what you're talking about, sourcing agents and etc. and property investor. Uh, she came to visit me last year and she said like, well, Scotland is good, safe enough place. She's more than happy that you cannot be gazumped in Scotland. So mm-hmm. yeah. if you got your offer accepted, that's it. And she said like, yeah, that's the good place. Let's market you. So I did some of the webinars All speaking right. about Scotland, what I did, so what's my story. And from that, people start to contact me. That's good. So now I'm combining the accountant, broker, uh, solicitor who can facilitate the foreigners. Mm-hmm. I know it's doable. But are these, gonna, people... are these gonna be, these are not like loan agreements that you're doing and giving them interest. This is for people to actually purchase properties. Yes. And... So my service, I will put you in touch with the whole team. I probably can touch you, be put in touch with the builders, etc. Yeah. So, and I will charge for that. And are you sourcing, the, you're the, sourcing the property? I can source uh, some of what I found or right. I can put in touch with the sourcer as well. Right, so okay, got I'm, I'm kind of intermediate. Are you like a broker? for yeah, yeah. buying Scottish property again, deals. Yeah. Again, banking on that I'm a Russian speaking and a lot of people, even from UK, they saying like, we will better trust you because you talk in our language yeah. rather than... I get, I, get <laughs> a lot, like I, I get a lot of backlash, right, on my TikTok videos from... Right. It's like the kind of Gen Z, Gen Z kind of generation, you know, of like uh-huh. anti-landlords yep. and all that. And it's a lot of people are very bitter towards, you know, what we do. And also, like, foreigners coming in as well. Like, I'm not right. obviously putting yeah, yourself yeah. in that, you know. Well, you are in this situation. But, you know, you do have that. There's a lot of people out there that are like, how can these foreigners come in and buy all our property? And then, you know, we've got a housing crisis in Scotland. <laughs> Sorry well, for you on the spot they, they, they are mostly bringing back to uh, to the stock. Yeah. So they're Putting looking for buy to let, mm-hmm. yes. Uh, is it really matter who is owning it? No. Yeah. yeah. I just thought I'd put it out there because, like, I actually didn't really become that aware until I started posting a lot on social media. The kind of hatred and the, the, kind of, the feeling for people who invest in property and, and landlords in particular, do you know what I mean? So there is a, a, a big actually, backlash. For them, it's much, it's much harder to get in here because they have, uh, well, stamp duty additional 2%. It's, oh yes, I, I, I'm not sure if it's actually. Is that Scotland as well? Or I is believe that? so. Yeah. Yeah. So no, well, Scotland mm. itself is six percent. Well, we've got six percent. The, the, the brokers from England, they're like, okay, you have like a lot of lenders. Then you you getting, uh, you want a foreigner, so you're, you're having that. You, 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 right. you want a Scotland. <laughs> you're yeah, having yeah, that yeah. again. So and so now we are talking ch- about that together only is happy and yeah. they, their interest rate will be around like nine ten percent. Yeah, it's why well, it's nearly not working. for I mean, them. don't don't get me wrong. I don't want the government to do anything or put up extra rules for foreign investors because a lot of my business is built mm-hmm. on foreign buyers as well. Mm-hmm. I've got right. a lot of landlords that have properties that are based overseas, so yeah, I hope they don't. But I know mm-hmm. that it's becoming a real political hot topic mm-hmm. and there's a lot of debate about you know should foreign investors be allowed to buy 
properties that are taking them out of the private rental sector. I think it's like you know? like, uh, like the mission. It's the, not. I think is they're not um, taking it no, out from. Sorry, not, it's not taking it out of the private yes. rental sector. Taking it out of the opportunity for other people to buy, who are resident, you know, who are like Scottish yes, citizens. Yes. But, if they don't buy, we'll buy. Yes. <laughs> there's well, enough we investors and landlords in exactly. Scotland to buy them. Yeah, as well. but the whole argument is that people kind of get on the housing market because there's so much competition from investors. I'm just putting out there that is the argument it, it, and that is the like hostility. That. I mean, if if you go into the market really yeah. for the market, you're rarely getting it. I mean, like oh, as yeah. a, I'm a sourcing agent as well. Yes. Yeah. So, my offer is like way way under what someone's going to pay. Was, yeah. was, yes, and I, I would agree as yeah. well. I would agree with you guys. I would say that you know the, yeah, we're we're not paying what first time buyers going to pay. We've got six percent of pay exactly. and all it's these fees. going to be the winner on price. Yes. Yeah. So if they can afford um, it, they're getting it. Aye. We're we're never going to we're never going to compete with them. Never. That people don't see yeah. that. No. It's, it's weird. It's mental. I just I just brought it up because I get so much abuse. <laughs> so right. aware of it. So, um, but yeah, back back to the tick boxes. So tick box. that, that's what I started as a, as a service here yeah, for foreigners, uh, and I start coaching because again, a lot of Russian speaking who have no idea how yeah. the property works here. Yeah, start the property or start the investing as well. So I've got, I've got a couple of clients who are just. Oh, so that's a coaching st- thing. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. C- couple hours in a month, so one hour this week, one hour in two weeks. Yeah simple tasks so what to do explaining how it works etc again yeah, that's good. In, in touch and some people told me like oh you're so positive guy it's good that you start to working with people yeah so it's, so you're now a guru showing the guru maybe for the for the honest guru honest guru it's all team is the same the thing is like when you see how people buying property like Come on, guys! Just come and ask me. I will tell you how yeah, to do this easier. Yeah, yeah. You're helpful. Or, yes. Yeah, obviously, you yeah. attend. You know, you've attended quite a few of the Glasgow networking events, right. podcast events as well, and you're good at networking. You're a good people person as well. So people, people learn from you as well. You know, like so with you. Just yesterday, we were discussing with my coach. Like, should I? I know that you're recording here as well. I mean, video recording. Yeah. Should I come like that or, or like that? <laughs> He's like, hmm. So you are the young guy, so you probably want to be a bit more classic. <laughs> and he, he's seriously discussing like, yes, so we are a combination of our skills. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, I'm banking on that as well. So if, if I'm attractive and uh, positive, so why not to use that? Yeah. Uh, I know yeah. you can tell that we've made the effort as well here too. We've obviously gone to a lot of effort. Oh, Steve's put a wee bit of gel on his hair, but I'm glad you've spruced yourself up for the occasion. Right. It's, uh, it's, yeah. uh, it's nice to obviously get a, get a chat because a lot of the time we meet at the networking events and we're like, it's so busy. And I'm, yeah. I'm yeah. like, oh, how you doing? All right, mate. I'll get a chat with you. And then it's like, I don't get a chance or, to. Or the dance floor, when we're pissed at midnight. I, well, for the listeners, <laughs> for the listeners, when two more came in at the studio here, I'm like, have you met Stephen before? Yeah, yeah, I remember the dance floor, the Christmas <laughs> ball. Stephen's like, yeah. I'm looking at him going, nah, mate, I don't remember anything of that night. Until, until I started busting the move, then I was like, yeah, I remember him. <laughs> yeah, he's got some moves, this guy, definitely. <laughs> well, my daughter, she's in uh, dance, uh, well, gymnastics and dancing. Yeah. And she's really good, so she likes it. And she already won a couple of competitions. And those competitions, which is like for a whole day, yeah. They always uh, introducing like, oh, now is the parent competition. Parent dancer. Two times I've already won that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't see nothing until you go on my TikTok, mate, and see some real dancing okay. videos. So. so I need to set up TikTok. <laughs> really uh, challenge set. <laughs> um, so like, have you, like, obviously, you li- do you listen to podcasts as well? Yes, yes. I so could just find that useful. Good. It's good. Sometimes like it's, oh. That's the guy who I need to connect to. So mm-hmm. just yeah. straight away uh, catching them on the yeah. Instagram or something. Makes the community small, doesn't it? Makes it feel it's, more. It's always rich. sparking some ideas. So, for example, with the eviction, some letting agents saying like, "Yes, we, we will handle it." Some letting agents saying, "No, we we don't know how to do this, so you need mm-hmm. to go to Shreveport." Right. And I remember you have the guy who was yeah. their businesses actually. Jeff just, Livingston. Yeah. Yeah. You used I use them. Yeah. So. Good. For the evictions. I, I'm happy to pay them so they will take yeah. it smoothly and take away from me all this hassle. Absolutely. Or, for example, there is a people who is uh, insurance claim companies. Yeah. So, again, you just sign one contract and they're doing full refurbishment and full claiming. So, they are paid from the uh, insurance company mm-hmm. rather than from me. 
Mm. It's all um, about building your network. Yes, that's why, that's why we find that useful as well because we're meeting all these people. Uh, looking back now, obviously you've got a bit of experience in yep. property now. You've been doing it a while. Um, what advice would you give to those listeners who are starting out? You know, like to maybe avoid some of the challenges that you've faced, or to try and to try and uh, navigate through. What what would you what would you say is like so important to you to provide you with that kind of the key to, I, I to being successful? To f- just just find someone who already know what you're doing. So the, this coaching, I, I, f- I found myself at some point coming to the networking events. Oh, there is a lot of my peers already working with the coaches, mm-hmm. you know, pushing them further. Okay. So you need someone who to, you hold you accountable, yeah. <laughs> holding your hand and saying like, yeah, that's fine. So portfolio by, yeah, mm-hmm. you can do this. But I think the, I think the days talking about that education and coaching thing. I think the days of the twenty grand courses are kind of gone now, right? Might be. Yeah. Would you not think there's a better is there a better way of doing it? What's what would you um, say? I, You've I, done I, it yourself. Yes, what's the, I've what's done it what myself. would you, if you had to do it again now, knowing mm. what you know now, being through the twenty mm. grand course and knowing how all the other groups and personal coaches and mentors work, what would you advise mm. to somebody starting out that had a bit the, of money to spend on kind of... coaching or education? There is two uh, things on those twenty grand payment. Yeah, one thing you are tapping to the network of people who is happy to help. Mm-hmm. That's that's the big one. Just the Facebook, the closed Facebook group mm-hmm. where you post your question and you have plenty of experience there and people happy to help. That's the one. Second one, you need to to, to get the knowledge. You need to sacrifice something. Yeah. And if the twenty k is something meaningful for you, I mean, it's a big money. You will not be sitting like that. Okay, uh, maybe, oh, that's the property, maybe I buy it. You can't, you want your money yeah. back, so you start to make For, it Force work. you to take action, yeah. Yes, or, well, that's where or, I'm going wrong. Yeah, so or, I'm going to <laughs> Just give me your 200 grand. I will buy or, a property. <laughs> or, or, I mean, I think, I think or, or it'll take you 10, 15 years to learn that. Yeah. But you pay 20 grand and it fast tracks all that exactly. shit. To the uh, point exactly. where you go, let's go. Yeah. So, Right. Like so I, I got my first deal right so one one month after the course yeah because so i was pumped confident. i know what i'm doing mm. i'm confident in numbers so and the guy yeah. who was uh doing the refurb for me so my first two free refurbs was like handing keys yeah and yeah. getting back the flat that's fine as long as you can afford that at 20 grand but well, i think i think the majority people cannot afford that yeah, and that thing. was another skill which i learned because i'm like at the end of the course yes i want I don't have 20 Q in my bank account. Yeah, it's gone now. Go to that guy. He he's the has a ma- magic hat. So and he's like, yeah, go on the money supermarket, uh, pick up the uh, best matching credit cards, ask for balance transfer, um, and here you go. And then you're paying from another credit card and make mm. the balance transfer. To I, your you, you've yeah. made it out. You've made it out the other end, right? Of that, mm. you know, you put it on the credit card, you built up your debt. Yep. Jill mm. Green as well. She always talks about how she doesn't regret it. You know, they did it mm. and they've come out the other end and yes. they're absolutely flying now. Do you know what yep. I mean? So there's plenty yep. of people that always in the back of my head. You just wonder how many people have not made it and they're now I, just I, like I've I'll just lost you. the money. Uh, you know, they talk mm. about stats like 90% of people who go on these courses don't do anything with it. The, the, there is people who have this 20k in bank account. And for them, they're like, okay, I've paid it. And they've done nothing until their mentorship or something. So they just not even pick up the phone because they can afford to lose it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But the people that's that, fine. People, what people about these the like, young yeah. guys like our girls that you see a lot of time that are like they're just they want that get rich quick and they're sold the dream that's the people that i kind of feel a bit sorry for because then they're coming out and they're just they're never going to do it and they've just blown all their student loans and all the rest of it and got into credit <laughs> card debt do you know what i mean because there's a lot of young people getting into this game that are might, kind of, might be yeah well you, know. you see i i've came when i was what 35 yes it's, so you had a bit of yes, you had a bit stability. of sense about you know and, what i mean I'm not saying all young people are daft, by the way. <laughs> of course. Well, we've, we've already lost our female listeners. <laughs> we've already <laughs> lost our young listeners as well. What we left with? Well, middle aged, middle aged men, fat men, <laughs> young, young people. Uh, the guy chapped my door uh, with the chess, so charity. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yes, okay, I'm, I'm happy to pay monthly uh, donation to that. And he was 18 years old. He was asking, like, oh, what are you doing? I'm like, yeah, property investing. Oh, I'm really fascinated about property. And when when he 
heard how, how many properties I've got. He's like, I will give up this job. I will go to work to you. I'm like, <laughs> ah, actually, you what you can do for me? If you find the person who is going to sell, uh, I will make sure I will give you five grand if you buy that property. Right. So that referral stuff. Yeah. And he's so energetic and positive. So yeah. I'm like, that might work. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. But yeah. I, I get, I got quite a lot of it recently. I put a job advert on for my letting agency, right? right. So I'm recruiting somebody. Um, and it's just a letting agent role. It's it's pretty much minimum wage, right? It's nothing spectacular. Mm -hmm. uh, I got inundated and I got a lot of uh, people that had actually reached out through the podcast, listening to the podcast. And I, I went down to a couple of interviews with them. And uh, a lot of them said, you know, I'm really, really interested in property. I want to get into property. Right. I'm like, this is red, not... red, red mark. Aye. Aye. I'm like, this is, this is not, this is a letting agent role. I need somebody yeah. who's good at like admin, organization. Yes. You know, basically you're going to be in front of a laptop, you know, dealing with tenants and problems and dealing with contractors. Like yeah. You're not be going to become a property investor. And I think that's where it kind of like the lines get a little bit blurred because mm. people just think property, chicken, you know, like mm -hmm. they just think money. Yeah. I just think it's it's good stuff probably to learn, but that's just the one side. Yeah. And again, why I think it's a good stuff with the uh, education. Yeah. Because you've got like a, a whole world that in, in that three days we were presented all possible strategies when i come to this assisted sale i would never thought that it's possible at all mm -hmm. if i if i never heard that on the courses mm -hmm. that actually you can offer that way of purchasing rather than normal purchase and paying stamp duty etc yeah. and you have this connection so you need to you need to pay your accountant you need to pay your solicitor who who is able to do that who Again, from, from another course, yeah, the solicitor, it has to be a solicitor who is getting for your refinance or for your purchase a bit more because if he's on the minimum wage, so he's not, not minimum wage, I mean, uh, he need to finalize like five, seven completions on the, on the Friday. He'll never be able to pick up the phone and help you with your creative strategies or something like that. Mm -hmm. So it has to be someone well paid and well uh, experienced. So, and you get this all information up front. So the the the, the phrase which I'm still remember like you pay peanuts, you pay monkey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you feed monkey. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that, all, all that. So you kind of see the whole world, and you know a little bit of everything. And if you need something, you know where to go get it. Where to go yeah. and yeah, mm. and talk to. Great stuff, Timo. I really enjoyed the chat. I'm so good. glad you came in, and shared your kind of story. Um, glad to. Yeah, very, very <laughs> interesting good, yeah. Uh, background, and uh, obviously it's great to to hear all about it. So I wish you all the best, and Thank uh, you very look, much. look forward yes. to seeing you again at the. And where can the listeners uh, reach out to you, connect with you, especially if any Russian uh, speaking listeners? Well, I'm probably Instagram or Facebook. Yeah. Uh, Instagram, Timur. Under dash UK under dash property, I believe so. Yeah, you, you left a second in there. We should try and get this, we try and get this uh, translated. I'm sure with the AI now we can get this podcast translated into Russian. Awesome. Get it out on. <laughs> Do they have YouTube in Russia? Or is it all banned? <laughs> The Putin uh, ban it. <laughs> a lot of stuff actually banned at the yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah, to yeah, get exactly. to Instagram or Facebook, you need to have a VPN on your phone and uh, such. Yeah. So it's, it's not straight away. Right. Okay. Cool. Just, we'll we'll find a way. Difficult. <laughs> but right. honestly, those who who wants to. Uh, reach me they probably still will be english speaking because if they want to yeah yeah here. sure i was trying to create a team of russian speaking like broker uh, accountant solicitor it is tricky so th th those people exist but you need them you you need you need them really high level and really understanding mm -hmm. what we are doing mm -hmm. so it has we end up I'm, okay that's that will be an english speaking team yeah. <laughs> and yeah. i will be translating if needed that'll work <laughs> so, fine but yeah. I mean, well thanks very much Good. yep thanks a lot speak to you soon. Good to see you yes. Yes.